So I'm starting to see a pattern here with the episodes, and I highly doubt I'm the only one that's seeing the pattern, but just in case you haven't noticed the pattern, I want to point it out. If you notice, it's the very first episode. Every character that gets any backstory characterization and gets the focus, or basically is the protagonist of the episode, they typically end up dead at the end of the episode. For instance, first episode, focused on Boar. We got some characterization. We all assumed she was the main character. We got to see how she fought and looked at people around her and stuff, what she did to her family. We got to see all this characterization and development, which made us all assume when the series first began that she was the MC. Then, at the end, she dies, which was very shocking. Everybody's like, whoa, like, that's crazy. It's a really crazy, it's kind of edgy, but it, it was really crazy the way the series started off. It just threw us all for a loop. Second episode comes around, we have the dog as the main focus, and he is getting, you know, characterization, backstory, and all that. We're getting to see what he wants to do, how he's going to try to overcome the Junie Tyson and all that. Y you could see how he's getting a lot of characterization. So you could assume that he's going to be a very important character, maybe not the main character, but at the very least, very important. But all of a sudden, at the end, he dies. Chicken kills him, which was a very interesting themed episode because of dog and chicken, since they're just not compatible. I got in that in my last review. But basically, though, it was a really cool episode. In just in terms of the Chinese Zodiacs and stuff, I like the theme of it. But then, the third episode came around, and then we have it to where the chicken gets the main focus. She gets, you know, her characterization, development, her backstory, and all that, and then she dies at the end. Now, obviously, what I am explaining here is, is there is a pattern. Every character that is the protagonist of their episode ends up dead at the end, which, in a way, is very predictable. And I feel like this could become a very big problem for the series, if it continues down this path. Now, I know this is by the writer of the Monogatari series, so I'm not even going to say that this is going to turn out bad, because the writer of Monogatari is famous for twists and turns and just doing the unexpected. So, I expect the unexpected, okay? that That's what I expect from the series. So, I even though I think that it could normally be a problem what's going on here, I don't think I need to worry too much because of the track record of the writer. But like I said, though, it is something that is a little bit worrisome because of the fact that there is an obvious pattern. Every time a character is focused on, they die. And apparently from the next episode preview, it looks like Monkey is going to be the main focus, which means that Monkey might die. And from everything that's been built up these past couple episodes, you would assume Monkey would be the MC because of how she is a pacifist and wants to help people out. So when you look at all of this stuff, if Monkey does in fact die next episode, then it becomes very predictable. The entire series is very predictable. And that's what has me worried. Anyways, though, let's talk about Chicken, okay? So Chicken is the main focus of the episode. And as we know, what she did to the dog in last week's episode is pretty savage. Like, just how casual it was when she just just squished the head in. It was, just, it, it was just a very savage way to go about it. And I was freaking out. I was like, whoa, that was crazy. And it was a really well-executed scene for last week's episode. And many agreed. It was just a really good episode. Now, this episode was also very good. Predictable, yes, but very good. And the reason for it is because of the build-up and the slight hints throughout the episode for the future episodes. Now, like I said, the Chinese Zodiacs are obviously playing a big role in this series. It's not just the fact that they're being given titles like boar, rat, ox, you know, given, you know, snake, chicken. Even though they're given these titles, they're obvious references to the Chinese Zodiac and how compatible they are. And like I said in my last review, basically the, you know, dog and the chicken, they're not compatible. They are literally bad luck for each other. If they were to hang out things are going to end very badly. And basically, that's how the series is going. How the writer is handling it is through using the Chinese Zodiacs and their compatibility charts. And in this case, when you see Chicken encounter, you know, Ox, you would assume that everything would be kind of slightly fine because if you look at the compatibility charts, Ox and Rooster should have been fine. They should have been somewhat compatible where they might have been able to make a team, an exchange or something of information, and then been on their way. But that did not happen. And at first I was thinking, I guess the writer isn't following the compatibility chart of the Chinese Zodiacs. But then, I popped up in my mind. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He still is. He still is following it. And let me explain why. Think about what the dog did. The chicken. 
The dog gave her a one-man army. It, it enhanced her body, and she had increased physical strength, but also mental strength as well. And it made her body and everything just move at a faster and hyper rate. And because of this, it made it to where even her emotions she tried to hold back would start to leak out. Now, there's other things you could assume could be going on too, which I'll get into, but you could assume that what the dog did to her, in fact, in turn, masked her up in the end results of this episode. What I'm getting at is, is it goes back to the compatibility chart. Since she kind of relied on the dog somewhat, and then she got that, like, little power boost, that actually ended up messing her up in the end. Even if it wasn't thanks to that, why she acted that way towards Ox, the big thing is, is that she made a mistake with Monkey and let her emotions get to her, which in turn caused her where she made the wrong move against Ox and then got killed. So... If you look at the results, it was actually the dog that managed to get her destroyed. Why she died in the first place. So the compatibility chart is definitely there. Bad luck comes to these two when they hang out, and there you go. Now, here's another thing to look at this, okay? When Chicken went to encounter, you know, Monkey and Rat, we know that Rooster and Rat, they don't work together at all. However, Monkey, if you look at the chart, basically Monkey and Chicken... They're not, like, best friends, like, and all that, but they can have a mutual understanding. That's basically the, the two relationships between these Zodiacs. They, they can have kind of, like, a mutual understanding. And in this case, when she went down there and started to talk with Monkey, it, it's to be expected. There was some form of mutual understanding. There was no violence. It was a very just passive conversation. And when you look at the exchange overall, the reason why... She even came to that conclusion to where she actually just walked out and, you know, didn't, you know, take advantage and try to betray Monkey and Rat was because her emotions were heightened thanks to the dog. So, in turn, the dog messed her up in that moment, but then after that as well, when she started to have these movements to where she wanted to protect the monkey, which in turn messed her up. So, like I said, there's a cycle here. So, it was not, in fact, Ox that got rid of her, it was the dog. Now, let's go into the other things to discuss, which is the monkey in general. It's already been established that our each individual characters, they have their own abilities. Abilities that they're hiding, and they have their own specialty and all that, that they do some crazy stuff. In this case, you have it to where the chicken, she's able to, you know, look through the bird's eyes, and then call upon them, and speak to them and stuff, and make them, you know, attack people. Which is a very powerful ability if you want to be a spy. And... We do know that some others, they have, like, you know, the ability to bring back and revive people if they're dead, for instance, make walking corpses or necromancers, basically. And so we do know that there's abilities. Every single person has their own ability. And if we look at the monkey, the monkey's character overall is a very passive person. She does not want to harm individuals. She doesn't want to stain her hands with blood. She wants to end war and have peaceful negotiations between both sides. From what was established in the last episode, apparently the monkey was always going to different battlefields and trying to make peace between everyone. That's what she wanted to do. She wanted peace, and she was able to make sure nobody ever died. She, she made sure there's like a peaceful agreement. And so in this case, we do know that she has the power to persuade people. She has the power of negotiations. That's the type of person that the monkey is. And so when you look at this, maybe her power has something to do with mind control, or able to plant seeds within someone and then force them to move a certain way. It's kind of like this, okay? You hear someone, like, you know, a voice recording in your head or a voice in your head just whispering in the back of your head telling you to do a certain thing. Do this, do this, do this. And she has the power to, like, amplify that, make it bigger and bigger to where you follow what she wants you to do. And you don't really become aware of this until it's too late. In this case, when she started to stand and try to fight and all that to defend Monkey, it was because Monkey already probably used her power on, you know, her, which messed her up. So, even then, it's still the dog's fault while this all happened, but the power of persuasion, that could be what Monkey has, and what her ability could be linked to, which could explain why Rat acts like he does, why Rat is someone that is very passive and working with Monkey, is because she also has the power of persuasion. So anyways, besides that, let's talk about the, I guess, the backstory of Chicken. So Chicken is a very bizarre, very bizarre sociopath. I mean, straight up messed up in the head. The chicken didn't really know who friend or foe was. Would, you know, basically end anyone, betray anyone, and had no alliance or allegiance with anyone. And she forgot what it meant to have friends or enemies. She just 
betrayed people. And it's kind of sad when you see her backstory about how far she went. She was also a victim of emotional and mental abuse and physical abuse by her parents. And we can see eventually she snapped, which caused this entire chain of events to where she joined the Zodiacs or became a Zodiac, but also joined the Juni Tyson is thanks to her upbringing with her parents. Her parents completely messed up her mind. So she's just crazy. She's just straight up crazy. And it's a really interesting backstory, kind of fascinating. I still prefer like Boar's backstory overall, but I do like, you know, Chicken's backstory in this episode. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, the episode's very simple overall. I mean, you have a very ironic and like a symbolic death at the end where she's able to control birds and stuff, and then she dies to birds at the end. She tells the birds to devour her. It's kind of like a symbolic death in a way. Everything she's been doing to others, it came back to her and she died to it. So it's pretty cool the way stuff was handled. It was a good episode. It's pretty epic. I like the action of it as well. There was some really good action. Just overall, it was... A good episode. Decent episode. Great episode 3. It's definitely something that I want to continue to watch. And so I guess I should ask the question. Since this is episode 3 of Junie Tyson, how many of you are going to be continued to watch this series? Are you going to drop it? Since this is episode 3 and it does determine if you want to continue to watch or drop, tell me your honest thoughts in the comments below. Will you continue to watch this series or will you drop it? Now, if you like my video, please leave a like. If you like my content, please subscribe. And I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.